six years old and live with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. I'm the consumer consultant for MSU's Exoskeleton Arm Project that is being funded by PPMD. This project began as a passive arm support system designed by Talon Technologies, which helped the user move their arms without overexerting themselves. Now with the joint help of really useful robots, Talon's passive arm supports will now have the option to be power assisted to boost the user's available strength when they are no longer able to use the passive arm system. This new computerized system has two servo motors, which are housed in a 3D printed chassis along with a force sensor located inside the arm's boom, which sends signals to a powerful single board computer. All of this is powered directly by the user's wheelchair battery. At this point, I need the extra assistance, so I use the powered system, which gives me the ability to lift my arms upwards, downwards, and hold them at any desired level. The powered system also features an attachable weight compensator that senses the weight of any object the user picks up, such as a cell phone and is able to be moved out of the way when it is not needed. A new drive mode, which when activated, holds the arm at a desired height, such as joystick level. With these new features, I'm able to eat and drink on my own, play the piano, and do computer work without struggle, and just have some fun. Along with Talent Technologies' Blake Matthew and Dr. Richard Folds of Really Useful Robots, I have been directly involved since the beginning through each stage of development of this system by being the first person with DMD to test it. Along with installing software updates provided by Dr. Folds, I'm giving them feedback so that they can ensure that the supports are the best they can possibly be. I love being able to lift my arms when I want and pick things up that I normally would not be capable of lifting. Along with my wheelchair, this exoskeletal arm gives me my freedom back.